We saw a lot of cloud cover across northern and central Minnesota today, and temperatures were just a little bit cooler thanks to the clouds. We also did have some showers and thunderstorms moving across the area, and some of those were a little strong, especially in parts of west central and into northeastern Minnesota. All of that weather activity, though, will begin to taper off tonight, and it looks like a pretty pleasant week ahead of us, enjoying a lot of sunshine, and again, those temperatures should be in at least the 50s and 60s. More on the forecast in just a few seconds. First, our current conditions in Brainerd. It's cloudy. And and 52 degrees. Our dew point is at 37. Pressure is falling and winds are east at 9 miles per hour. It's cloudy and 43 in Bemidji. 37 is the dew point. Humidity at 81 percent and north winds are at 13 miles per hour. Our temps around Minnesota this evening, most of northern Minnesota seeing temperatures in the 40s. And again, with the cloud cover in the north, we did have cooler temperatures throughout the day. We are in right now at 43 in Faustin, Grand Rapids reporting 48. Little Falls a bit warmer at 54. Minneapolis is still in this evening at 65. Now, as we check in with our eagle eyes tonight, Don and Deer Lake on and off clouds throughout the day. 51 was our low are high, the low as well, as well as the current temperature at 43. And Dewey in Park Rapids, a thunder shower this morning, bringing about a quarter inch of rainfall today. 65 was the high with a low this morning of 40. So as you look at the Almanac in Brainerd, we reached a high of 62, well above the average, 10 degrees shy of the record for today. 46 was the low, we had sunset at 748. Bemidji today reaching a high of 50 degrees. So again, about 5 degrees above the average high temperature, warmer than average temps around the area. Even with the cloud cover, 41 was the low and sunrise at 5 minutes before 7. Highs around the rest of the state in the 50s for most of us. 61 today in Little Falls. We had 53 in Faustin, 54 in Roseau. Actually quite a bit warmer, a little bit more sunshine in the south. We had Minneapolis at 69 and we did have many 70 degree, even close to 80 degree readings in southern Minnesota today. Looking at the radar, again we did have some showers and thunderstorms moving across the area throughout the day today. And we could still see a little bit of scattered, maybe some isolated shower activity as we head into the overnight. Most of that should begin to taper off as we move more towards morning and it looks like it's going to set us up for a pretty nice stretch of weather as we head through most of this week. For tomorrow, those uh, clouds should clear out across northern Minnesota, so a lot of sunshine, mostly sunny skies. And we should be seeing highs once again in the 50s, the mid-50s, upper 50s across the northern part of the state. In central Minnesota, some clouds may linger in, in east central Minnesota in the morning, but again, those should clear off as we head more towards the afternoon leaving us with mostly sunny skies for most of the day. Highs a little bit warmer, we're still looking at mid to upper 50s, maybe some low 60s around Brainerd and Little Falls. So as we look at that forecast for tonight, partly to mostly cloudy skies, a few scattered rain showers, which again should taper off overnight. We're looking at lows near 39. For tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies, it looks like a beautiful day. Highs near 57 north winds, anywhere from five to 20. Heading into the rest of the week, pretty quiet. We should be seeing partly to mostly sunny skies right on through Friday. And temperatures may be a little bit cooler as we head into Thursday and Friday as well. Mid-50s on Friday and into Saturday, and that's our next chance of seeing some showers and thunderstorms. Isolated activity could continue on into Sunday with a high on Sunday of 50. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.